Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. This is the second in a series of four videos on the topic Three Ways to Achieve Physical Rejuvenation by Alice B. Claggett. This the first in the series is entitled Orgasm or Ejaculation Rejuvenates the Body Cells Through a Flash of Electric Energy. It's a controversial topic, I will admit. And for those of you that are put off or offended by the topic, I advise just wait for the second or the third. There may be, may be something there that you like. I hope that whoever reads on from here won't be too offended by the topic and will find something interesting in it. As I find, most people on earth, and certainly almost all men, know all about orgasm and ejaculation as a way to lift their spirits. It's really us women that need to learn that technique in some cases. And sometimes children are, are told that it's not the right thing to do. They might have learned it someplace other than through their parents, for instance. And those children, I feel, might learn from this if their parents agree. So taking that into consideration, that only those who really wish to, to listen to the video should listen, I'll continue onward. I have first for you my adult, my adult viewers, a picture that's somewhat suggestive, but, but not outright um, offensive, I feel. It's called Spleen et Ideal by a man named Carlos Schwab. It was a painting that was made in 1907, and it's available in Wikimedia Commons, so I can show it online to you. Um, it seems to me to be the picture of an angel uh, in the act of orgasm or ejaculation uh, with a human woman uh, in an ocean setting. I'll show it to you. All right. This is a picture of what a winged young man looks like and the ocean spray coming up. And he's in an arched position. It looks like he's he may be having an orgasm. And you can't see it, but covered with seaweed uh, is a woman, a young woman there beneath him. If you get the original from Wikimedia Commons, I think you'll get the idea. And I thought I'd mention a little about the title, Spleen at Ideals. I found out that the, the it used to be prior to the 1900s that people believed there was an organ in the human body called the spleen that was thought to have to do with melancholy and depression and also to do, I think, with the sexual organs. Um, so somehow there was a confusion between the spleen, the organ called the spleen, and the sexual organs of people. And it, it, I think it was thought that the spleen caused melancholy or depression. The word ideal in the title of this painting refers to the experience of joy, adoration, or the experience of uh, the presence of God in dwelling, the feeling, I am that, or I am, I am. And I feel, just from my own stance, that what this might mean is that the sexual drive, if improperly employed, can cause a feeling of melancholy or depression. If, for instance, the sex drive is completely repressed, or if it is worn out through excessive use. But the proper use of the sexual organs and the creation of the wonderful feeling of orgasm, or, or in the case of a man, ejaculation, that experience, uh, if used in a sacred sexual setting, can cause the uh, experience of the presence of God within oneself and with one's partner. And so, so this, this act here has two possible outcomes. Spleen, which means melancholy and depression, through the repression of it, and the ideal, the ideal human being, through the proper use of the sex drive. That's my stance about it. Now here's the text of this, the first method for rejuvenating the human body. At the moment when orgasm or ejaculation occurs, there's a great surge of electricity through the body. 
this electric surge begins at the sexual organs and sparks out to all the cells in the body, filling them with vital force and clearing away dark interference and debris for at least eight hours. The beneficial effect can be felt for several days thereafter, though slowly diminishing with time. This clearing of the human electric field through a jolt of electric force momentarily expands a person's body of light to include the transpersonal chakras. Those are the chakras now available high above the head, available since the, sh the shift in December 2012, available to us as ascensioneers. The transpersonal chakras have to do with incoming transmissions from our ascension team. Our ascension team consists of those beings that are here to help us through the experience of ascension on earth, partly to repair our physical body and keep it in good working order, but also to re repair and purify our subtle bodies, of which there are many, and, our, and one of which is the electric, the electric field, the body of light. This purity is, is important to the, to the physical regeneration of the body. So that is our ascension team, consisting of many beings, not just one or two. Downloads of light occur that rejuvenate and renovate the DNA of our body cells, which may be injured through cosmic rays penetrating Earth's atmosphere from deep space. The light flows down through our central vertical power current, that's our kundalini, revitalizing our physical and subtle bodies. Physical regeneration occurs. Through these downloads, we can become young again. All right, it's, this is a short video, and this is just about how the jolt of electricity that occurs when we experience orgasm or ejaculation in the case of men creates a, a rejuvenation of the electric field of the body that can last for a day or several days. And that's something within uh, the range of all people who have reached puberty and have not yet um, gone through menopause, whether male or female. So, so that's an that's an easy fix, and uh, that's the very first that I have. The, the two are a little more esoteric. We'll get into those in the next two videos. God bless you all. Keep you safe. And be with you through all your days.